Hey friends, I am so excited to do a little review of this book. I am so obsessed. It is called In the Flow, Unlock Your Hormonal Advantage and Revolutionize Your Life by Alyssa Vitti. I had never heard of cycle syncing up until really recently. I believe I heard Alyssa on a few of my favorite podcasts. I picked up this book read it quickly and I feel like my life will never be the same. I'm super excited about the content that I learned in this amazing read. Did you know, because I didn't, that the male hormonal clock cycle is based on a 24 hour cycle. And as menstruating women, our hormonal clocks are based on a 28 day cycle. So just vastly different, and almost all studies on exercise programs, on diets, and studies on time management hacks are overwhelmingly based on the male 24-hour clock. Have you ever done an exercise program with maybe your male spouse or partner, and he lost a ton of weight while you didn't. Likely that is because that exercise is tailored toward men. We are so different than men hormonally and it's time we started acting like it. She breaks down the four distinct phases of our cycles and tells us what we should be eating during those cycles, how we should be moving our body or not, and even how we should be working differently and smarter, just so we can get the most benefit out of our productivity. I've actually had this conversation with a lot of friends recently, and it's something that I have dealt with where one week I am just on fire, I am getting up early, I have a pep in my step, I am doing my 5 a.m. morning routine or whatever it might be. I'm crossing all the things off my to-do list. I am just energized, happy, and a productive machine. And then a couple weeks later, or maybe even the next day, I wake up and it's hard to even roll out of bed. I don't feel like doing anything. I feel lazy and I get really, really down on myself and just feel a lot of guilt. And this book has not only taught me why that energy level is very vastly different, but it also has given me permission to be easier on myself and to let go and to take each season for what it is. Like I said, there are four different phases and she eloquently links them to the four weather seasons. Winter, winter, for instance, is linked to the menstrual phase, while summer is linked to when you ovulate. And when you ovulate, you are social, you have a lot of energy, you don't have to eat as much, you feel like exercising more, you just can get a lot more things done. While during menstruation, you want to be a little bit more away from people, you want to slow down, and as long as you know that ahead of time, you can take advantage of that rest and do things during your period that are beneficial. If I am going into the winter season and expecting the sun to rise early and to set late, expecting weekends where we can go to the beach, expecting flip-flop weather, I'm going to be so disappointed. I live in Minnesota. If I approach the winter season and I expect warm, cozy sweater weather, if I expect hot cocoa dates with my husband, if I expect sledding with the kids, if I expect grabbing a blanket and reading a book or watching a movie, well, that's gonna be a different story because that is what is coming. So it's just about setting expectations and doing different things working smarter, eating smarter, moving your body smarter, because it's different. What works in one week is not gonna work in the next week. 
I am going to really quickly summarize each of the four cycles by telling you what season they correspond with weather-wise, because it's really helpful, at least for me. And I'm gonna quickly summarize what you should be focusing on for food, for exercise, and for work. So it's gonna be a really quick top level summary. I so, so, so recommend you picking up a copy of this book. I will leave the link below. The first phase is the follicular phase. It corresponds with the season of spring and her word to describe this phase is prepare. Now this starts the first day after your period. You wanna focus on fresh foods this week, think spring, and fermented foods are great, kombucha, kimchi, sauerkraut, sprouted beans are great. Coincidentally, I have a video on how to sprout black beans. I just made those last week as I was in this phase and consumed them. During this week, you have a bit more energy. Your, your energy is coming up after the week of your bleed and cardio is great this week. For work, as I said, prepare was her word. It's a great week to plan. Plan the rest of your month. Your analytical brain is really on fire this week, so it's great to do those planning activities. The second phase is your ovulatory phase, which as I said before, can be thought of as your summer, and her word for that is open. This is when you are going to feel social. So you wanna open up, try different activities, do networking events, be social. Food focus for this week is a lot of raw fruits and vegetables. Your caloric need is gonna be a little lower this week, and so that you're gonna have actually more energy and need less calories, which is really cool. For exercise, this is your week to go hard. High intensity interval training, really hard workouts are gonna benefit you this week. And for work, be social. I'm filming this video right now in my ovulatory phase. I am being social with you right now. I wrote a bunch of blog posts this week. You can do networking events, lunch dates with coworkers. It's time to open up. The luteal phase comes next after you ovulate and that corresponds with the season of fall and her word is work. So especially during the first half of this phase, you are still gonna have that energy. You still might feel a little social. It'll kind of wane as this season concludes, but it's a great season to work and get things done. So first food, think fall. You're gonna need a bit more calories this week as compared to last week nutrient-dense foods, and slow-burning carbs are great. Exercise, strength training is great this week, Pilates. As this cycle ends, you are going to really dip in energy, so just know that ahead of time and maybe start with some high-intensity strength workouts, and as you get closer to your period, you can switch to more things like Pilates. For work, again, I said her word for this part of the cycle is work. You are gonna have the energy to cross everything off your list, tackle those projects, and you're gonna feel so good and so efficient, so take advantage. And then lastly, we reach our bleed, the menstruation cycle, which corresponds with winter and her word is rest. For food, you wanna have warm, hot, comfort food. Stews and soups are gonna be so nourishing to you during this time. Exercise, you should do really easy things like yoga and even rest. Skip that exercise. She says you can count a nap as exercise during your bleed. And for work, this is a great time to analyze. When we menstruate, our left and right brain are communicating with each other better than any other time. So it's good to look at expense reports, other reports, and see where you can improve for the future. She also has an app for the phone. It's $1.99, totally worth it. I will also link that below. And that's been really helpful. It helps you track your period and it gives you these tips of what you should be focusing on depending on where you are. It is such a good read. I really, really, really recommend you pick up this book and give it a try. And I would love to know if you have read it, if you do read it, 
hit me up on Instagram and we can chat all things period sinking. It's so exciting. I am a nerd and love this stuff. And I'm personally really excited to keep going. I think I've been through one whole cycle with this knowledge and I'm just slowly going to implement these steps as I keep going. And I'm looking forward to see all the positive changes that come from it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment below. And if you are not subscribed, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. It's so helpful. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Take care.